Okay, so remember I said that we're rethinking Thanksgiving, and I am showing you my trick to having an incredible turkey. So, my trick is the bag. Okay, you can buy these in the store. Um, they are very reasonably priced, um, and they're oven safe bags, basically. Um, so, forget about basting your turkey. Forget about dried out flavorless turkey because this seals in all that moisture and it's just going to go around and around and it um, kind of helps to steam the turkey which holds in all that moisture. So I swear by the bag. Okay, so what you need to do to prepare the bag is to put... Um, just a little bit, probably about, oh, there's just a tiny bit left in here, about uh, a tablespoon of flour into there. Gather up the top and just shake it around. That was fun. <laughs> okay, and you can use any like 9 by 13 uh, pan to put this in. You don't need one of those giant roasting pans. Okay, so just throw it right in there. And uh, this is my next trick that I've been learning in culinary school, which makes everything so much more flavorful, is adding in mirepoix. Okay, so mirepoix is just carrots, celery, and onions. And you want to have double the amount of onions as you have of uh, celery and carrots. So I'm going to throw that into my bag where I'm going to be roasting my chicken, or you know, this is the same way you would do a turkey. All right, and ooh, see, it smells like my grandmother's house on Thanksgiving. Not even being cooked, it's incredible. Okay, so throw that in there, and then when the uh, bird releases all its juices, it's going to flavor those juices in the bottom of the pan, and that way you can use it for the gravy afterwards, and it's going to be the best tasting gravy you will ever have. So, another trick. I'm just full of them today. Oh, we're preheated right there, 425. Um, okay, so i got my apple here. Just using that same Cortland apple that is in the stuffing, and I'm just doing nice little slices. Okay. Put that off to the side. I've got one clove of garlic. And just gently tap it because I don't want to pulverize that clove of garlic. I just want to get that skin off. Okay, cut off the little nub. I don't like him. He's not very flavorful. All right, and then I'm just going to cut slivers of garlic. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a minute. Okay, just a couple of slivers. All right, put that off to the side. And so this is the trick that I learned from my grandmother. She always used this trick um, when she was making a turkey, which was to pick up the skin of the bird and put bay leaves in it. So um, fresh, fresh, fresh. I'm using fresh bay leaves. This is actually the first time I've ever used them, and I'm really excited to taste the difference between the fresh and the dried. Okay, so I'm going to put bay leaves, but I'm also going to put garlic and apples. So the apples just adds a little sweetness, and the garlic adds a little bit of that, you know, bold garlic flavor, and the uh, bay leaves just give it that nice, round, savory flavor, and they're all going to marry really well together. So let me show you how to put them in the skin, and then we're going to stuff our bird and get it okay. right in the oven. So what you got to do is go in the beginning. Just make get your finger in there. Make a little insertion, okay? And then you can just stick your whole hand in there. There's kind of a membrane in there that you got to separate if you're going to get all those ingredients all the way inside the skin, okay? So, it um, doesn't matter what order you put them in. Put in those bay leaves. Just remember, anything that you don't use in the chicken, just toss out because you don't want to run the risk of getting salmonella 
uh, poisoning. All right, so we got the bay leaves in there. We're throwing some apples in there. And I think it looks very pretty. When you can see inside is that nice green and white flavors in there. But more importantly, it's going to taste great. Okay. All right, that skin's all stuffed. Now I got out a couple of toothpicks here. And I want to make sure the skin stays on the meat because it's going to add that nice moisture and flavor to it. Okay, so just pierce it on one side, pierce it on the other, and then go back in. Okay? And make sure it's nice and tight. All right, now we're getting ready to stuff, and I'm going to put some in a separate bowl just so I don't contaminate the entire bowl of stuffing because it looks like we got a lot more in here that's then it's going to go in here. So we'll put that in a separate dish. Okay, I've put about three quarters of the stuffing into a baking dish, and I've got about a quarter of it here. So you want to start by going in the end and just picking it up, stuffing it in there. You don't want it to be too tightly packed. You want some air to be able to circulate in there. Okay? Um, and you can come out actually a little bit more because I'm going to teach you how to truss a bird. Okay, and that's just a culinary term for um, tying it up, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so everything is going to cook at a more uniform uh, rate. Okay, now on a turkey you would have little wing tips here, but these have actually been cut off. So on a turkey, you want to turn this around and tuck the wings underneath, okay? But on this chicken, it's not going to work because it doesn't have those little wing tips. So, we'll just forget about that. And we're going to come up, go under the, the seat, let's say, <laughs> of the chicken. All right. Come up over those legs and just do a little cross. All right. Now, you're going to take each side of that cross and go under the leg of the tur turkey or chicken. Okay, then we're going to come around. Okay, holding everything in nice and tight. See that, how it's kind of like a, a ball, a big ball of chicken? <laughs> Alright, and then just do a tie at the end, just like a, you would tie your shoes. All right, and she's ready to go. Now any of this stuff that comes out, just try and stuff in there a little bit more. But if you can't get it in there, just throw it out because it's got bacteria. We don't want that. Okay, there she is. She's ready to go. Put her right in that bag. Okay. Um, now, in class, uh, they, we just roasted chickens this past week and they put them um, breast side down. So, hey, you know what? Trying new things. Let's turn her over, see how it goes. You know, I care more about the, the taste of the chicken than I do about the, the look. Um, so I'm just going to turn her over and let's see what that does to the breast, okay? So you want a little bit of air in there, okay? and then just twist the end and it comes with a little twist tie. Make sure that's nice and tight so it's sealed up. And then we need to make some vents for the steam to release. Still gonna hold plenty of that steam in there. So just take your knife, make a couple little slits in there. All right, she's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put this in for four, at 425 for half an hour, then I'm gonna turn it down to 375 and put it in for another hour.